Hey guys, so we got a bunch of new Nations of Hockey cards, including a new 99 overall Igor Larionov. We're going to break down all of the cards from this release and see if there's any hidden gems in them. So let's jump into it and see what we can find. So we'll start with the Austrians, the 91 overall Lucas. Oh, I'm going to butcher these names. Hottam. Six foot 183, so just a, a an average build, nothing wrong with it. 99 skating and 99 shot power with 85 accuracy. Does have 89 body checking as well. For anyone that is, uh, you know, still in the lower range of players, this is the kind of card that you want to look at, just because he's got an end game shot power as well as quick speed. And for under 50k, that's a fine value. Um, his build is kind of, you don't want to go any lower than six foot, but this is a fine card to target if you are someone who is, uh, you know, slowly building up their squad then we've got the 92 overall bernard stark bomb six foot this unfortunately i mean this goaltender has a great build 67 aggression 95 glove high 92 positioning that's fantastic but unfortunately he's only six feet so uh, this would be a hard avoid so if you do pack him this would be a sell for sure then we've got the 92 overall dominic heinrich five foot seven 163 uh, a five foot seven defenseman. That is the hardest of avoids. Um, yeah, there is no way you want to be using um, someone who's that small on defense. And again, I've said this throughout the year, but maybe you're just new here. You just stumbled upon my videos. You you cannot have someone this small in the way the NHL plays. You're never going to be able to get the puck back because you can't bump anyone off of it uh, when you're trying to defend down low. I, it's great to to be able to back check and, and skate with someone to defend the rush. But once they start cycling, you're just you're kind of going to get bumped off, and eventually you're going to get out of position. So this one would be a hard avoid as well, the Dominic Heinrich. Then we've got the 93 overall Andre Lakos, six foot seven, 238. This is an end game defenseman at 93 overall. So he is almost he is a Zdeno Chara light. He's 99 skating, which is fantastic, and his slap shot is 90-90. His defensive and offensive awareness is at 91 and 93. This is a great defenseman. If you cannot afford the 97 Bowmeister, uh, the 99 Headman, the, the, the 93 Chara, this is a fantastic uh, get for anyone looking to upgrade their uh, right defense. Um, and sorry, and when it comes to right defense, my apologies. Uh, anyone like Brent Burns, you know, any of those big defensemen, uh, just be on the lookout. Like, this is going to be a great card. I'm curious to see what he's going for. I would be stunned if it's anything cheap. I mean, 150k, well, this is a bid, though. That's extremely cheap, in my opinion. I just, the way that he's built is almost perfect. So, uh, this is a, this is a great card. If you paired him with Char, that'd be hilarious. And we've got the 93 overall, Dominic Zwerger, 6 foot 205. Again, a saint, nice build. Uh, again, 99 skating with mid 90 shooting. Awarenesses are over 90 as well. And he's got 97 on the faceoff. So, again, anyone that's looking in that mid 90 range to upgrade their team, this is a nice build to go out for. And again, 75k is just, is a fine price to grab someone who is uh, going to provide quite a bit of value again you don't want to go any he's not going to be anything crazy because he's kind of the Sidney Crosby build but that's a fine price for him then we've got David Mayer and again they all seem to be roughly the same but this is a right defenseman six foot 99 skating with 99 slap shot power again sneaky good kind of card uh, you don't you would like to see around six two and above for defensemen uh, but again 99 skating with 99 shot power and above six feet is is very nice. I'm curious. He's probably going to be. He's got to be cheaper than the Andre uh, Legos. But yeah, 80k. I mean, if he gets around 80 under 80, that's a very very nice price. Following him, we've got the 94 overall Konstantin Kamerik, five foot 11, 194 with 99 skating. This one would be an avoid at 94 overall. There's better cards that you can look for in this range. Again, he's under six feet. His accuracy is kind of low. Um, so just keep that in mind. This one, I would I would. Uh, I would avoid this one, and if I did pack him, I would sell him. We've got the 95 overall Thomas Raffle, six foot four, two fourteen. Great card, 99 skating, 98 shot power with 87 accuracy. The accuracy is a little low, uh, but perfect, you know, shot power, size, and speed with 99 body checking. The awareness stats are a little low, which is kind of concerning, uh, but this is going to do fine for you uh, as a left winger. And again. 
the left wing I find that the higher end cards there is a lot of good cards around six foot which is fine that have the good stats but if you can find someone above six foot two and whatnot you're gonna be able to bump people off the puck so easily um, and that is really the meta and the go-to in NHL 20 uh, just this would be a great card to look out for in my opinion got Kristoff Brandner and again same thing six foot four 224 with 99 skating and a mid 90 shot perfect awareness this is a great left-handed defense or left-handed winger card i'm curious to see what he's going for but it is probably going to be a lot if there is any 135 not bad at all i think that he'll get down even more he's not selling for that price if he gets down to like around 120 that's a great buy you won't need to really replace him because of his build and then we've got the 97 overall thomas vanek 6 2 214 99 skating mid 90s shooting mid 90s hand stats perfect card right-handed winger the vanek has always played very well in in hut and this is no exception he's a very good build for this game and uh if you are able to pack him i'd probably keep him and try him out um i'm i'm curious to see what he goes for right now but it's probably going to yeah 240 if he gets around 225 in my opinion that's a really good price just because he's got a good size build um and speed so uh keep a lookout for the 97 vanek and we've got the 99 overall, Mike Richter. And while his stats are damn near perfect, his aggression 76 at 5'11", he is going to have a heck of a time protecting the top of the net. While it's an awesome card, uh, just this would be an um, immediate sell for me. Uh, but yeah, great stats, just, yeah, unfortunately. And he doesn't really have a lot of synergies either when you compare some of the other higher goaltenders that have come out, so this one would be an avoid. And then finally, we've got the 99 overall, Igor Larionov. Man, this card was so good in NHL 19, but again, just how the meta plays, it is very, very... Uh, difficult on smaller players but if you are someone who can score off the rush straight lines down the boards doesn't really like to you know have the vision to control play hold the puck along down the board cycle um you like to kind of get into the zone rip top corner that kind of thing this card could be usable for you in my opinion you know there's so many better 99 overall cards but um i'd be curious to try this one out again under six foot is tough but 99 everything you're gonna be able to just throw it in the net and if you are someone who likes to play out that straight line kind of play style this card could tailor to you pretty well so uh give it a shot but that's going to do it, guys, for the Nations of Hockey release. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys later on. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already for daily NHL content, and I'll see you next time.